why you should always do your research when it comes to creators so time to nana i was not gonna watch it until i saw the people behind well not behind the um because one person so while well, i was looking for who was with this staff i saw a, a person named that kind of not kind of but maybe would he wanted to watch time to nana so this person name is fumi hiko shimo and for those who don't know he, he or she wrote er Kalan, Fix a Night, Higurashi, Yumineko, and currently they're also running for Ikibukuro with Skate Park, and he they also wrote the story for the movie, The Disappearance of Hari Zumiya. If I did not look in who was behind the writing of Tan I probably would not have to watch it. Because I was I was like, man, this is my hero knockoff. I ain't watching that yeah. shit. And then he told me when I saw well, actually I saw Ben make a post on Facebook with um Butcher and a girl I'm like same energy. I'm like, what? <laughs> really? And like, okay, I'm about to and then ben, ben, ben told me about it. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, oh no, I'm down. Yeah. I watched that shit. Push it I'm like, I'm down. I watched episode two and three. Like, oh, oh no. No. She trying to kill people. Yeah. She killing motherfuckers. She she's like, she trying to be a serial killer, nigga. She's like, <laughs> All right, well, knock out two niggas and do one more. I'm like, God damn, girl, you just don't give a fuck, huh? Like I said, going through Tanitanano's staff list, and I saw who wrote the story. I was like, okay, this might be good. Cause no, he if this fool me, he could do girl whatever whoa some really good anime series and he knows how to make a good ad- adaptation out of a manga except for you minute ago when it cried because that anime the dash was fucking garbage so i don't get these fucking calm balls on youtube facebook it was like well it doesn't matter why why, why would you be looking at the fucking director because it's called a fucking track record yeah. if they have a good track record yes i'm gonna fuck them right. if i know the known for bullshit. Why the fuck am I gonna fucking waste my time waiting for a sucker to get good? Man, all you gotta say to that person is, you, you know, are a retard. No, do you know who Quentin Tarantino is? Yeah, you watch everything he dropped, right? You don't just watch everybody's shit, but you know when you hear that name, like, oh, well, I don't think yeah, so, oh, this cool. gonna be banger. Shit, it's gonna be some good shit. Like, and like that's a reason why people follow directors of movies like Christopher Nolan, all the all the people I named the normal heroes, all those white directors that people yeah. love. That's why people love those two motherfuckers. They usually drop good movies. You don't have no niggas in it, but they still make good movies. Like, don't be a dummy and just be watching everything. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not smart. You're actually just confusing yourself. You're yeah. just going to be sort of hating television. Like, oh, well, that was a waste of time. Well, nigga, if you looked who wrote and directed it, you wouldn't have wasted your time. Because it's halftime. You're like, who the fuck is this director? Who is this writer? I, I might fuck with you if you have an actor I like in it. Yeah. But even the actor, sometimes I'm like, I know you did a fucked up movie the last time. I don't you know. know. You work with an unknown director and that kind of almost fucked your career up. Like I was talking to somebody like a, uh, a couple of months ago about some anime director. I don't know who his name is. I was like, because some anime was coming out of it. People were talking about like, I'm, this director, he's infamous for fucking up adaptions. And people are like, no, why, that, why does not matter? Because again, if I know this guy has a history of horrible shows. I am not going to waste my time Watching this anime because we be part of the discussion in the group. You, okay, like we've been saying this for months, a year even. Please look up these directors, these producers, especially when it comes to anime, because you can't watch all that shit in anime, man. Sometimes that shit be like, God damn, this is some shit. Yeah, but you don't know no better. That's when because you, you do gotta look at the track record. Of some, not even anime director, it's the production companies. Sometimes directors they you know they, they work for like production. Yeah, IP, like you know. The, the next year. Because if I have a friend who works for you no know, A1 Pictures, and like, hey, right. I need somebody with your talent to bring this anime, this manga that you know to life. Like, like A1, uh, I'm about to say, like this new director, Sun Jung Park, who created uh, uh, God of High School. Now, Mappa just like, well, what's good? Can you direct? Um, he directed another Jujutsu Kaisen. I think he did. Directing that. Yeah. I'm like, oh, well, they did this career and they can direct. He must be pretty good. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Because because the, the last episode of Jujutsu Kaisen, that shit was like well animated. I was like. Damn, fuck! And God of High School, everybody know God of High School. That's a dope ass intro. That's what I think. That's the best intro of the year. That mm-hmm. hype ass fucking song. God damn, might have to play it at the end. Yeah. But, uh, and no, uh, I was going to completely ignore um, the day I became a god. But like I say, I look up the director, and the director is let me looking up. He's from Studio Key. Um, it's a, it's a yes, yeah, Studio Key. Key is a real well known. Popular, beloved, virtual novel company who made. Uh, okay, so it's June, the guy behind the, the day of Bikram Gone. God, June Maida, who I believe he's a founder of Key. This dude created Kana, Er, Angel Beast, kind of as a story. This guy is a fucking legend. And he's really known for creating stories behind, like creating stories where the main focus is by family, knowing who you are, keeping bonds with your friends, and actually making Lighthouse start dark. 
That's why I like uh, old boy, the creator of Cobb Bebop. Well, the director of Cobb Bebop. What's on, what's on Nabi? Yes, Shinaro, Watanabe. That's why I, I fuck everything he do. Yeah. Like, that dude, he actually gives he actually gives a fuck about anime. He sees anime as an art, and he like, I'm not going to just keep adapting mangas. He does some real new shit, and he loves music. He, he loves Western culture, and that's why some of his stuff is, is very unique, like, like yeah. to the, I said, they, uh, I told you guys this year about well, Kabi Bob. Kabi Bob, ain't nobody never touched that ever again. Like, no. like ain't nobody doing nothing like Kabi Bob, man. And it still look good, beautifully it's drawn. Like, you buy like, some stupid ass kids saying, uh, "Oh, they look bad," but then Chabi, no, Chabi, the cool kids. Yeah, right. Or Kabi Bob do not look bad. Ain't no bad shots of Kabi Bob. Yeah. Like, look out here. That's a movie production type shit. Like, that is something on another goddamn level. That's why I, you'll never see that shit ever again. Not. Ever, ever. <laughs> Might close and close to that, probably you say Carolina Tuesday type shit. You know, it's funny because they are in the, same, in the same universe, yeah. Just like Space Dandy, they they they, they talk about Wulongs, like, oh, shit, this gotta be way in the future of uh, of uh, because they, they got some nutty shit in Space Dandy. Like, <laughs> that's why you, you need to always do your research on these crackers because you don't know what they have produced that will grab your attention and make you more interested in something else that you wouldn't know. 